Before I had ever even heard of Mr. Winkles, I began writing down a detailed account of my daily activities. One year, while I was Christmas shopping, I stumbled upon a Mr. Winkles calendar, and it was love at first sight. Ever since the year I stumbled upon this very little friend, it has become a Christmas tradition for my cousin to buy me my annual Winkle calendar. I guess because I consider my calendar to be a very personal extension of myself, it has become practically my daily diary, that I feel such a strong connection to this creature I have never even met. What is Mr. Winkle? This is a question that has plagued society for over a decade. Is he a doll, a cat in dog suit, or could he possibly be an alien species from another planet? What we do know for sure is that he is adorable, charismatic, and that his tongue is too big for his mouth. Or maybe his mouth is just too small for his tongue. Either way, this very little bundle of joy has touched the hearts of millions and has become a pop culture icon. Many people don't know the story behind Mr. Winkle's auspicious beginnings. While driving around lost on her way to a photo shoot in an industrial region of Los Angeles, photographer Deborah Jo Redding pulled over when she spotted a furry little ball huddled on the side of the road. When she got out of her car, in the pouring rain to take a closer look, Redding discovered a tiny dog who was lucky to be alive. He crawled right into her arms and she took him into her home. Once he was healthy enough, Redding started taking her new pet for walks around her neighborhood. While out on these adventures, people would constantly come up to her to inquire whether or not the dog was real and what kind of breed he was. They also began offering their own interpretations of what he could possibly be. An angel? Or maybe just some kind of mutant species, perhaps? It was after all of the constant questioning and multiple suggestions as to what Mr. Winkle could be that Redding got the idea of making a picture series that included all kinds of possibilities, ranging from the practical to the silly to the downright ludicrous. It was from this photo series that she began making an annual calendar centered solely around the con concept of what is Mr. Winkle. From the calendar series spawned a series of postcards, stationery, stuffed animals, and even several children's books. Mr. Winkle may have touched the hearts of millions, but he has touched my heart in a much more personal way. For the past eight years, I have been keeping a calendar of my daily activities. I write down everything from where I went to who I was with and what exactly I did throughout the course of the day. Over time, I have developed a much more sophisticated way of arranging all the information I need to fit into a single day. This makes it easy for me to go back three years and be able to tell someone what I did and who I was with for any day of that year. So every single day, when I go to write down what I did, I see Mr. Winkle, and even after all these years, he continues to bring a smile to my face.